one of the things that prophecy allows you to do is to manage your windows all of these windows that you have to your best uh, usage and everything and a lot of it will depend upon what type of monitor be it a laptop or a desktop I'm going to show you a few things that I do down here I have the feedback zone it shows up here I prefer it to be in a tabbed editor so what I do is I'll come here I'll right click on it and put tabbed editor okay now it's up here in the feedback zone so that as I do my build I can sit here and see the entire message the build message that it shows up rather than just a little tiny piece down here and I can come back over here to the main now the other one are the properties if I come over here and I hit properties on that variable little inspector window pops up I like that to be docked so I'm going to do is I'm going to right click make sure that dockable is checked and then left click on the top and I can put it here no but what really makes I can put it over there but that takes up a lot of space but what I like is to put it right here below my variables and land it right in there so now you click on you click on a variable and you can see it okay you can see everything about that variable all the properties with it down here and you'll see that I am currently connected to the PLC and down here you can see the current value being changing as it's going okay now you've got your info viewer here you've got your main window for the for your ladder diagram the feedback zone okay over here you've got your project here's your whole project so you can there's your main you can look at your rack okay here's your variable tab your help tab okay and here's your project navigator for selecting other projects okay now the other one up here is the toolbox bring your toolbox I have the tool chest over here See, so I've got a wide screen so I can sit there and look at the various functions and everything. And one reminder here uh, is the help file. If you want to look at your counters, get some help on the counter with an up counter, right click on the function, display help, and up will come the help file for that. And you can read everything about that particular function get some examples down here and verify that it works with your CPU the data types everything about this function is listed in this info viewer